Hi there, this is GIST Nigeria. Coming up, Lassa fever. Viral disease kills 59 Nigerians in the first two months of 2022 as authorities race to stem the deadly tide. Also, out of school. We bring you the evolving story of Adijat Wahab, who started formal education at 11 years old. Plus, trash to treasure. Uganda chemist uses old cattle bones and food waste to produce water purifiers. And... Hello, my name is Temita Yagema Okubuejo. Check me out. The social entrepreneur putting underprivileged children through school in Ogun State. It's great to have you join me here on Just Nigeria from the BBC and Channels Television. And of course, on the program, we look at the stories making the rounds online. I'm Uwali Fakile. Let's start with our top story. The Nigeria Center for Disease Control and CDC says there have been 358 confirmed cases of Lassa fever this year. And the World Health Organization predicts that infection rates might rise further until the end of the dry season. Now, at least 50 of those infected with the viral disease, which has now spread to 19 states across Nigeria, have died. In this report, uh, Just Nigeria's Aneta Felix looks at what authorities are doing to stop the infection rates and how you can protect yourself from getting infected. Have a look. In the Federal Medical Center Owo, Ondo State, is a secluded ward. Patients diagnosed with Lassa fever are contained there in the Infectious Control Center for treatment. Blessing Omoye is a 25-year-old student who has spent most of her time this month in the hospital. I first discovered that I was having a day. I couldn't sleep at night. I was now rushed home. So they now admitted me to FMC. They now gave me a transfer letter to this place. Semitope Dili suspected malaria when she fell ill and resorted to self-medication until the symptoms aggravated. I came here last week, Thursday. So since then, they've been giving me treatment. A visiting relative of a patient here says she's lucky her daughter's feeling better. Now she's, she's feeling ahead. She's even struggling that she wants to go home. According to the Nigeria Center for Disease Control, NCDC, 358 confirmed cases of Lassa fever has been recorded in 19 states in 2022. Compared to February 2021, the Lassa fever cases are almost four times higher. Ondo State residents have it worse, with 73% of the cases affecting mostly 21 to 30-year-olds. Of course, we have capacity to test. You know, we will discover, we will discover almost every case. That's why you see the the high uh, number of uh, uh, cases that we have in Ondo State because we have the capacity to test, and we are testing. Edo is the second most affected state, with 32 percent of Lassa fever cases. So because of our strong surveillance system in the states, we are able to uh, detect the Lassa fever cases early and then um, report also uh, promptly and take necessary actions for management. So um, that is the major reason why we seem to have you know, high number of cases in the states. As we go up north, the case toll plunges. Bauchi State confirms 18% of the Lassa fever cases and the third highest in Nigeria. The chief medical director here explains why. Most of the cases that we're having are medical personnel now. So it is in the hospital that they, the doctors are getting infected. Over 13 doctors get infected. Nurses, about five of them. So we're making frantic effort to remind them about the protocol. Anybody coming with fever should be, should be examined. Anybody who comes with fever should wear a protective measures, the hand gloves, face mask we provided for them, and then uh, 
Thank God that even those that are infected, one doctor got infected with five of his family. Another doctor got infected with about 10 people getting infected through him. So we need to protect our medical personnel from getting infected from other people coming to seek care because they will not even see our patient. What exactly is Lassa fever? The disease gets its name from the first place where it was reported, Lassa community in Bornu State, Nigeria. Two missionary nurses reportedly died from the disease in that community in 1969. Lassa fever is an epidemic-prone disease, meaning that the infection is likely to spread in a community at a particular time. It's a hemorrhagic fever transmitted by rats. The culprit or host of the Lassa virus is a rodent called Nathal Mortimamit rats. Forget the big name. They're simply called the common African rats because they are probably the most common rodents in tropical Africa. These rats breed in large numbers. Once infected, the rats then excrete the Lassa virus through their urine. The virus is then transmitted to humans because the rats often live in and around homes feed and urinate on leftover human food or poorly stored food items. Person-to-person -person transmission of Lassa fever is possible and common in healthcare settings where proper personal protective gear is not available or used. But you can't get infected by casual contact with an infected person, so long as there is no exchange of body fluids like blood or urine. When one contracts the disease, the symptoms and effects can be life-threatening. You may also have uh, complications like uh, kidney problem. Acute kidney failure is, is a major one. Let's say 100 people come down with Lassa fever. About 80% will may you not know, have symptoms. They may not have symptoms, mild fever, and then they get better. But about 20% can be fatal. It's treatable. We have drugs that can be used to treat them. And luckily for us here, yeah, the treatment is free. Despite several government attempts to tackle the disease, Nigeria continues to experience occasional outbreaks of Lassa fever. We are currently participating um, or hosting, I would say, um, the largest epidemiological study of Lassa fever called the NILE study. So it's Nigeria uh, Lassa fever epidemiology study to try and understand fully um, the burden of this disease, the characteristics, because we know 80% of people who have Lassa fever are not very sick. So this um, 358 cases and um, 59 deaths we are seeing is in the 20% of cases that actually become ill. And of course we know that some may be undetected that we are not seeing. Uh, but we need to understand why that study will conclude um, at the end of this year and uh, is meeting all of its recruitment targets. The NCDC explains some of the bottlenecks to achieving a Lassa fever-free Nigeria. A gap in um, focus on this condition in terms of getting uh, new diagnostic tools, new options for treatment, uh, even getting vaccines. Uh, so despite the best efforts of government in the last few years, the, with the increasing investments that we have in um, health security and response to uh, diseases of public health importance, including outbreaks, there's still a substantial hurdle. So what tangible steps needs to be taken to step up the response to the spread of Lassa fever across Nigeria. Training and retraining of our uh, uh, personnel to respond to Lassa fever when it comes is, is very important. If by chance anybody has fever, fever, don't just say this is malaria, go to the hospital, especially in the areas affected, the local government affected. Just go straight away to the hospital and say, oh, you have fever, so that they can test you immediately and not when you have complications. The uh, cross-fertilization of ideas and uh, collaboration with uh, various uh, disciplines, ministries, departments and agencies will bring about a long-term solution to the problem of Lassa uh, uh, fever outbreak. Beyond the federal government response, what should state governments do? Every state should be able to diagnose this disease since it's 
is an epidemic now. Just like we we have COVID nineteen, we should be uh, there should be a public emergency around uh, uh, Lassa fever uh, disease. Now we should have been able to have vaccines against just Lassa fever. COVID nineteen came less than two years. We have vaccines all over the world, and they are even begging us to take it. Disease that has been with us for over fifty years, and I think they. I want to urge the government to improve, to put more funding into research, research for vaccine for Lassa fever, research for drugs. In January 2022, the NTDC activated level two of the National Emergency Operations Center across the country for effective multisectoral, multidisciplinary coordination of Lassa fever response activities. But the disease continues to rage on and has claimed 59 lives this year. Aneta Felix, GIST, Nigeria. Let's all take responsibility for our health. Now, what do you make of the rising cases of Lassa fever across Nigeria? Do let us know on our Twitter handle at GIST Nigeria TV. would love to hear from you. Thank you.